And as you can see, they are already coming in and there are plenty of people gagging to take a look at everything that Spiel has to offer, as are we, so we can to get on with it. Welcome to Soul Play We All at Spiel 2023. So we, we are going here from being a contraband insider to doing a nightmare sushi sort of game. Uh, Jeffrey, what, 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 why? <laughs> why? Oh, okay. Um, well, uh, for Good Spirit Games, right, we have this uh, design philosophy whereby we're trying to create a unique gameplay as well as unique themes. <laughs> so this time for Nightmare of Sushi, right? The concept is we're trying to create something that is both positive and negative. Okay. So everyone loves sushi. Yeah. Alright. So rarely you find something that you know criticizes sushi. But this time I'm trying to create something different. What if right okay this amazing meal became a nightmare? Okay. And we can make some entertainment out of it. Yep. So that's the uh, that's the idea for this second game, uh, Nightmare of Sushi. Yeah. Okay, which I have to say as well, okay, we have the most metal chef <laughs> there is on the cover of this game. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> uh, metal Nightmare Sushi. Okay, so uh, jokes aside, <laughs> how does uh, Nightmare Sushi play? Sure. Okay, so each player, you have to make sushi and then you get to eat either very good sushi or bad sushi. Okay. All right, so each player has five uh, sushi cards. Each, all of them, right, will have different gradings. So you have grade A and B, mm -hmm. which gives you points. And then you have grade D and F, which give you penalty points. Okay. All right, grade C is somewhat like home-cooked food that only you appreciate it. Yeah, so you have uh, five sushi cards whereby, all right, each player, you will, have, you will discard one card out and you have four cards left. So each round, you are to make sushi, okay. okay? And maybe you're trying to encourage players to eat it or not, all right? And then, along the way, you'll get to eat either other players' sushi or the special chef, all right? Which is another Japanese dog, yeah. all right? Yeah, so the special chef has two extremes, either very good or very bad, all right? So at first, it's a gamble, but later on, it's more of a deduction. Oh, okay. Yeah. So there are more choices, you know, for eating sushi, even if you don't trust other players, right? Yeah, there is another gamble. Yep. So, so total four rounds. After four rounds, right, there are actually two victory conditions. One is either earn the most points by having the points minus the penalty. All right? So the most points win. All right. Of course, that's the other objective, right? Or the other victory condition is the first player throughout the game be the first to reach 10 penalty points automatically wins the game. Yeah. So, for the concept of this game, right, it's either you're having the best outcome or the worst outcome. Either way, you win. Yeah. So, that's the twist of the game. So, I can win this game by being a bad, evil chef that gives food poisoning to my friends? Well, um, so, for this game, right, okay, yeah. when you make, okay, let's say if you are going for the positives, okay, when you make a good sushi, you're hoping that you eat it yourself. Okay. So, as we select the sushi, right, okay, if nobody chose your sushi card, you have to eat it yourself. Oh. Yeah, yes. So, if you're evil, right, okay, all right, usually is you're trying to cause a huge deduction if they're going to the positive route. But if someone going to the negative route as if the 10 penalty points, right, maybe you as a chef, right, okay, you're trying to encourage people to eat the good ones. So that, sorry, I mean, yeah, the good ones. So that, um, you know, they will not reach the 10 penalty points that easily. So there are a lot of decision making, whether, you know, you're trying to guess, you know, uh, the path of the player, whether they're going to the negative or positives. Yeah. So it's really depending. Yeah. That, that, that sounds very easy in principle, mm -hmm. but why am I getting the feeling that this is deceptively 
devious and, and very fiendish. Yes, yes, which is why the title is called Nightmares of Sushi. Yeah, so uh, fiendish in a way, right? Because in the end, uh, it, is a, it is a deduction game. And for deduction game, uh, I personally find it uh, having some mind games, yeah. laughing, deception, all right? Adds a certain fun elements uh, into it, and as well as uh, creating a certain kind of a unique gameplay. Yeah, so so this is something whereby um, I personally find it that you know, um, for a lot of my games, right? I mean, for both my games, right? Being someone evil, all right, uh, provides a different kind of experience <laughs> when it comes to playing the game. Yeah, of course you don't have to be evil, but it's just that you know. We just want to be escape from reality. Yeah. Yeah. You know, be once in a while, be the bad guy. You know, it's kind of like some video games where you have the good outcome and the bad outcome. Yeah. yeah. So you know, you can have fun with both. Yeah. I, I, this sounds. Um, it does sound tremendous fun, though. However, I'm seeing some smaller cards in here yep. that we haven't spoken about yet. So yes. what what are these cards? All right. So these are individual ability cards that okay. will help you, um, in a way, um, achieve whatever outcome you want. So okay. let's say, for example, okay, uh, sorry, <laughs> this card, all right, allows you to swap, all right, the type of scoring. So let's say, for example, if you play this card, right, all the yellow, yeah. the points will become penalty, and oh, all okay. the red penalty will become yellow. Yeah, so this card could help you change some, make some uh, decision, all right, because, as we play each round, mm -hmm. okay, the cards will be discarded on okay. the table. And then, right, as you see the table, right, okay, the discarded pile, it will be placed above the discarded pile. So from here, right, you see what were the cards that, that was played in the previous round. So let's say, for example, if you know that this player, right, has been, has discarded the extreme negative. Yeah. So definitely the blue player will not play the same card again. So let's say, what if I want to earn more negatives, all right? Cards like this will help you. Okay. Yes. So some, for example, whatever you choose to eat, the result is times two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some will give, you know, uh, if an only player playing this card, will you choose a player to take a penalty, mm -hmm. increase yourself. Yeah, if you're going for the positive route, you can be, you can play the source. If you're the only player playing this card, you get more points, okay. so on. Yeah, so these are some assistance cards, sorry, ability card, right, that will assist you throughout the game. Yeah, sorry, <laughs> I've been dropping cards. That's all right. Uh, and there are a fair number of, of this, it, does every player have the same cards? Uh, yes, so all players will have the same five ability cards as well as the same five grades of um, sushi. Of sushi. Yep. So all players will start with the same number of cards and the same type of cards. So I can see now how it becomes a bit of a deduction game because yes. the moment you begin to put cards on the table, yes. you know what's left. Yep. So you can try to figure out what they're going to be playing later on yes. together with this, which yes. is what gives a very nice variation to the whole to the whole system. Yes, yes, yes. Of course, uh, there will be some uh, memory involved. So, uh, yeah, it is a little part of the memory that, that also makes the game a lot, a, a little bit more challenging. Yeah. Yeah. How long does it take to play, give or take? Oh, uh, it will take roughly around 15 to 30 minutes because it's just a short four rounds. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so, but uh, despite being a simple game, uh, I do believe that this game has a lot of depth when it comes to, you know, a, a number of uh, decision-making and strategy thinking. So it's a very simple family game. Yeah, it's just a short family how, game, yeah. How much chaos does this game ensue when you play with six players? Because six people play in this. Yes. I can imagine that's going to be really good fun. Yes. All right. The chaos uh, would likely to be, let's say, too many you know, too many um, cards to remember, yeah. that's one thing. Yes. <laughs> uh, of course, uh, when it comes to deception, right, everybody will be, you know, saying everything. So it's, it's kind of confused, you know, it's like, oh, you know, should I eat your sushi or not? Then everybody has been, hey, come, please eat mine, or no, don't eat mine, and so on. Yeah, so basically, you're going to have a number of discussions for six players. It's definitely a lot more chaotic, yeah. That's fantastic. Uh, this is available here at Spiel, yeah. of course. but. Once the show is over, mm -hmm. uh, when people take a look at this interview, how can they get their hands on this nightmare? Well, um, this is my second time in Essence Field, so uh, I really hope that um, more retailers in Europe uh, will start distributing uh, the, the games. All right. So uh, as of now, uh, I'm still in discussion with a number of uh, distributors and retailers. So um, I can't really... Um, finalize uh, any details yet okay but within Asia right uh, there are a lot of uh, e-stores from Singapore that does international shipping 
Yeah, so uh, I do encourage the viewers uh, to uh, to look at the Instagram and Facebook uh, profile, uh, sorry, uh, channels uh, for, for good screen games. Yeah, so uh, after Essence Spiel, right, uh, there will be some details on where to get the game online. Fingers yeah. crossed uh, that you've been interested in this, uh, because this is a brand new, completely different experience on Sushi, or at least I hope so, because uh, getting food poisoning from sushi must be really horrible. Yes, I mean, it never happened to me, so I hope so. Uh, Jeffrey, thank you very much indeed. This sounds really, really, really good fun, and I hope it's a massive success. Yeah. If you have any questions about this, please let us know. You know. Put them down there in the comment sections of the video, and we'll do our best to answer. And um, let me know what you think. It'd be good to know. Uh, keep an eye on the channel. More interviews coming very, very soon. And until then, Take care. Take care.